Welcome back. That is, if you have already completed the shelving product knowledge presentation. If you haven't, please allow me to suggest it for a comprehensive overview of our hardwood ventilated shelving parts and hardware. It's a 15 minute presentation packed full of stuff about our shelving. For example, you may be surprised to learn that we are first and foremost a wood shelving manufacturer. And our closet cabinetry, the focus of this PowerPoint, was designed specifically to augment our shelving line. Knowing this helps explain why our closet cabinetry, which consists of towers, dressers, islands, and benches, doesn't really stand alone as a complete closet system, as would say a melamine system. Our beautiful closet cabinetry is all floor based and was designed to be intermixed with our wall hung shelving system, thus giving you the many options of a custom all wood built in closet without all the expense. First, let's familiarize ourselves with features and benefits. The material used for the structure itself is three quarter inch ash or maple plywood. The three quarter inch plywood adds strength and yields a sturdy frame. Plywood is also lighter weight than melamine, thereby easing the load a bit for your installers. Plywood has a greater moisture resistance and offers a natural wood grain. Real wood is also more forgiving and easier to repair than other closet system materials. Dovetail drawer boxes are all wood and built for life and our undermount soft closed drawer slides are concealed and allow us to maximize drawer width. Organizer units arrive ready to assemble using cam lock construction, making them a breeze for installers to assemble in the closet. Our units are frameless, allowing you to use every inch of storage space available. The tower unit is our most popular organizer. A tower unit is normally 85 inches tall. Most sizes are also available in a 96 inch height. They are available in two convenient depths, 14 and 16 inches. 18, 24, 30, and 36 are our standard widths. Keep in mind, with width only, that is the measure inside the structure. The actual overall width of a 24 inch tower is 25 and a half. We have three different drawer depths and three drawer front styles. We also have a hamper option, a velvet jewelry tray insert, and doors can also be added to tower units. For fast designing and pricing, it's advantageous to be familiar with our catalog drawer configurations. Our most popular tower is the four drawer unit. It has a large bottom drawer and three standard depth drawers. We also offer a five drawer unit, all standard drawers on this one. There is a second version of a five drawer tower that has four standard drawers and the top drawer is smaller, made to hold a jewelry tray insert, which we offer for our 24 and 30 inch wide units. We also offer a configuration that includes a hamper unit and a top standard size drawer. And I've included a drawing of a hamper unit with doors as well. To clarify, we call our small drawer a jewelry drawer. The drawer box is approximately three inches deep with a five inch drawer front. Our middle size drawer is called our standard depth drawer. It is a five and a half inch deep box with a seven and a half inch front. And our large drawer is called, believe it or not, our large drawer. It's a 10 and a half inch deep drawer box with a 12 and a half inch front. So instead of small, medium, and large, we have jewelry standard and large drawers. One more thing about our towers that's good to know. They are notched for baseboard in back to make installations easier. If, however, you want to do it the hard way and cut out the baseboard, you'll need to tell us no notch. And if your baseboard is taller than eight inches or deeper than one inch, let us know and we can adjust the notch to be bigger. The notch does cause a ripple effect to be aware of. 
the bottom drawer of any tower unit is always one inch shallower front to back than the other drawers, and one slide in the package is two inches shorter. This sometimes catches installers off guard, so it's good to make them aware of this ahead of time. We have a great tower unit assembly YouTube video that all first time installers should watch. Here's a close up of our velvet jewelry tray insert. For 24 inch units, the tray is dark royal blue. The tray is black for 30 inch units. Our hamper basket comes with a nice canvas bag and the basket lifts out very easily. We offer three drawer front styles. The standard front is a solid ash or maple hardwood slab with a simple attractive round over profile. We also have two upgrade fronts, a classic raised panel front and a trendy simple shaker front. All drawer fronts come with a simple brushed nickel knob. You or your client may choose to upgrade to a different knob or even a pull on your own. Let's talk about dressers now. Simply stated, a dresser unit is the bottom half of a tower unit. Depending on the drawer configuration, they are either 40 and a quarter inches tall or 42 and three quarter inches tall. The depths are the same as towers, 14 and 16 inches. They come in 24, 30, and 36 inch widths. And don't forget, the width refers to the inside dimension. Add one and a half inches to get the exact outside width. Same three drawer sizes as towers. Not small, medium, and large, remember? Jewelry standard and large. Hampers and jewelry tray inserts are options for dressers as well. And dressers are also notched for baseboard. The top shelf is different though. It comes standard with flush back, a one quarter inch overhang on the sides, and a one and a quarter inch overhang on front. So you'll need to let us know if that won't work in your design. And they can be ordered with a recess top if you wish to supply your own, say granite or marble. Catalog drawer configurations for dressers are easy to remember because they are the same as tower units. The four drawer unit has a large bottom drawer and three standard drawers. The five drawer unit with five standard drawers and the 5J version with four standard drawers and one jewelry drawer. I have not included a drawing of a hamper dresser, but this option is available as well. The dresser height for the five drawer is 42 and three quarter inches. All other standard catalog drawer configurations are 40 and a quarter inches tall. It makes sense to move on to benches because they are basically short dressers. Benches are 19 and a half inches tall and come in the same sizes as towers, 18, 24, 30, and 36 inches wide. Standard depth is 14 inches. Benches, like towers and dressers, come notched for baseboard. And all bench unit tops have a flush back. Our most popular bench is the cubby bench. On the cubby bench, the top comes flush all four sides. The other version of a bench unit has two standard size drawers. A drawer bench top is flush on back but has a quarter inch overhang on the left and right sides and a one and a quarter inch overhang on front to cover the drawer fronts. Unlike any of the organizer units we have covered, island units are built to stand alone. The unit is 50 and a quarter inches wide, 19 and a half inches deep, and 40 and a quarter inches tall. All drawer boxes are 18 inches deep. Island units have a finished back and obviously no notch for baseboard since they aren't up against a wall. The standard plywood top has a quarter inch overhang back and sides with the extended one and a quarter inch overhang on front to cover the drawer faces. Islands are often ordered with a recess top and fitted with a beautiful marble or granite top in the field. There are three styles available, four drawers with cubbies to the side, or five drawers with cubbies. And we also have an eight drawer unit. 
The drawer section of an island is identical in size and configuration to a 24 inch tower or dresser, except that the drawers are 18 inches deep front to back. We have standard ways to do things like notches and overhangs, but there will be times when you will need something a little different. For instance, if your dresser unit is between two towers, as shown in this drawing, you will need to order the top flush on left and right in addition to the standard flush back, so it will fit flatly next to the tower units. Or, if you know your baseboard is 12 inches tall by one inch deep, Order expand notch to 12 and a half by one and a half. Another neat thing about knowing the products you sell, if you know our 18 inch wide bench is actually 19 and a half inches wide, then you will know that it fits nicely backed up to the side of an island unit. And don't forget to tell us no notch on the bench. Now, just when you think we've covered everything, you learn we've only just begun. Many years ago, we were getting requests for adjustable wood ventilated shelving. So we came up with this, the AVSK. And for many years, it stood apart from a tower unit in both size and concept. Then one day we realized that no matter how many versions of a tower unit we offer, someone is gonna want something different. So, we did a small amount of morphing, hang on, it's morphing, and our AVSK is now really more like an all-purpose SK, the shell of a tower unit, empty on the inside. So now you can fill it with any and all sorts of things. You can bring it back to the original and fill it with ventilated shelving. These shelves are framed in our sturdy front rail and slightly routed so they fit flatly on shelf pins. In this case, whether you tell us or not, you will always get one that is cammed to be your center fixed shelf. Or you can fill it with tower shelving. Same as with vented, one center fixed shelf will be supplied. How about a cubby insert to help organize those shoes? We even offer wire baskets in two depths, six and 11 inches. Of course, you could add a couple of beautiful wooden drawer bins if you'd rather. And finally, back to the original tower unit dilemma, you can make up your own drawer configurations. We have opened the doors and drawers wide to allow you to design down to the detail exactly what your client needs in the way of storage options. And to top things off, our units are standard closet industry widths, so you can even purchase accessories from other closet manufacturers to fit in our units. In summary, a few important COPE closet cabinetry takeaways. Our closet cabinetry is built of sturdy three quarter inch ash or maple plywood. It arrives ready to assemble and is assembled using cam locks, which are very familiar to closet installers. We offer dovetail drawer boxes and full extension soft close drawer slides. And don't forget, you can design your own tower beginning with an empty shelving kit, adding the drawers and accessories your client desires. Finally, it's always good to remember our cabinetry line was designed to augment our wall mount hardwood ventilated shelving. By combining these two powerful product lines, you were able to offer customized closets using high quality all wood products at a competitive price. A closet is a small space meant to hold a large amount. We offer dealers an alternative way to create functional upscale storage space. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. We hope it was time well spent. As a reward for completing the COPE Closet Cabinetry Training Course, include the coupon code CCPPC on your next COPE order to receive a 10% discount on your cabinetry items. We invite you to visit our website 
and call us anytime you need assistance. Thanks, and have a great day.